I don't know about you guys, but I have chills tonight. I've been waiting for this moment for a long, long time, as has the WWE Universe. Finally, things are going to get settled. My goosebumps have goosebumps, and if yours don't, you better check your pulse. I look at this card and my mouth starts to water. Extreme rules never made a lot of sense because when it's extreme, the rules go right out the window. And we love it. The match we have next is going to be awesome. Stay where you are. We have a real fan favorite. Oh, I cannot wait. is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from Hidalgo, Mexico, weighing in at 209 pounds, Sue Pierre Crazy. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. Here comes the King Slayer. I think the look of confidence on the face of Seth Rollins says it all. He is ready. Rollins, one of the greatest of this generation. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! Seth Rollins has made a career out of taking risks and seizing opportunities. Seth Rollins has been a multi-time champion, a Money in the Bank ladder match winner, debuted as part of the Shield with Reigns and Ambrose.
The King Slayer set for action. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Settle in, guys. This is going to be a blast to watch. Hey, if Seth Rollins decides to burn it down tonight, uh, hey, Corey, can I borrow your water bottle? I'll tell you what, Byron, if you really want to stay safe, how about you leave the commentary table for the rest of the night? I'll cover for you. I got this. That's a little extreme. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. It's a good Right on the mark. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no count outs. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Did you hear that crack? That's how you use the ropes to your advantage. Oh, the knees. Did you hear that? They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no count outs. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match, where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. If Rollins could keep his emotions in check, he can figure out a way to take this. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the twin. For schoolboy. Uh-oh. Oh, super kick! Now that's what I call his shoulders are down. Meaning to have a seat. There it is. Did you hear that crack? There it is. Did you hear that crack? Yeah, no kidding. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. When this guy's on, look out. If you ask me, guys, matches like this. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. He's lining him up. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Somebody wound him up, and he's off and running. Oh. And what a reversal from Seth Burn. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. It is. Cold. Unfortunately, matches like this usually result in injury. Sometimes serious injury. Oh, it shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. to have a seat. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat.
This could be it. Yeah, right to the back of the neck. That should do it. You gotta believe this one's over. Beautiful technique. What a stop. Good grief. Well, the architect is rolling now. As Corey mentioned, there's a treasure trove of weapons under the ring. Everything from kendo sticks to steel chairs to fire extinguishers. If you can think about it, it's probably under there. And when that's the case, it's not a matter of if you're going to get hurt. It's a matter of how badly you're going to get hurt. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. There it is. Did you hear that crack? What a knee strike from the King Slayer. Game, set, match, this one. He's going for the pin. And an ear fall. What a match. to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't see this might be it. Oh my. I'm not sure how much he has left. Oh no, Seth Rollins needs to worry now. Yeah, the clock's two, three. Seth Rollins gets the win. These gentlemen get after it. Here are the highlights. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight. Done with one and on to another great matchup. Singles match coming up next. Coming up is a battle that can end up anywhere. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date versus a formidable opponent. Just the way I love it.
making his way to the ring from Virginia, weighing in at 297 pounds, the United States Professional Champion, Mr. Cyclone Rick Champion. And the champ definitely looks ready to go tonight. Which shouldn't surprise anybody, Cole. The champ's always ready to go, even tonight when the title's not on the line. You have to respect that about him. Two of WWE's top stars ready to go here in one-on-one -on -one action. This is the match I've been waiting for, guys, ever since it was announced. I've been looking forward to seeing these two clash. Two men, I don't think there's going to be anything oh, traditional about this one on one matchup. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here tonight. You know, even though the title is not on the line, and this is still an important match for the champ. He can't afford to show Ooh. any weakness here. I think this is how he envisioned this match going here tonight. Yeah, he's clearly not on the right side of this match right now, which is a little surprising to me. Harsh impact. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Look out! He's making a statement here with this attack. as surprised as you guys are. We got a cover. And he's heading back in. Oh gosh. Sunset Oh, what impact. Oh, nasty impact. Back now inside the ring.
There's been plenty of chatter about this superstar's injury, but to be honest, I don't know what. It's not like we're talking about a broken leg or anything. Corey clearly has little sympathy, but the fact of the matter remains that this superstar climbed into the ring battling an injury, and it would be negligent of us to at least not bring that up. And you never know. There's a very real chance that injury gets aggravated here tonight. That's the risk you take in stepping into the ring with an injury, regardless of its severity. Oh, matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Regarding Corey's point about superstars having what it takes to get extreme, I would argue that every superstar in the locker room possesses a mean streak. Yeah, but not all mean streaks are created equal, Michael. And I'd say there's only a select few who can turn their mean streaks all the way up to the most extreme level. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole. Shoulders on the back. He's got to be running on empty at this point. And the match continues. He's looking. That's how you put an exclamation point. Here's a cover. One, two, three. And that's the match. Let's take another look at what made that matchup so memorable. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time, I guess. He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. Here is your winner, Mr. Cyclone Rick. A well-earned victory indeed. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win. The next match has all the makings of a great one. So don't move a muscle. Just wait for what's up next. There's no telling what's going to happen in a battle like this. Against an imposing adversary. I can't wait.
Here comes the Lunatic Fringe! Making his way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, the Ultraviolet World's Heavyweight Champion, Dean Ambrose! Sir, sure, this guy's fit to be tied, but his resume speaks for itself. A Grand Slam champion in WWE, one of the most successful competitors of this generation. And guys, my sources tell me he's got a smoking hot wife. That'd be Renee, Byron. Oh. I like this kid. Bright, bright future for this young man. And his opponent, from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bay. First ever WWE United Kingdom Champion, former NXT Tag Team Champion, Saxton, he's not waving at you. Stop it. I thought he was. Began as part of the uh, famous UK tag team known as Mustache Mountain with his mentor, really big brother like Trent Seven. Some superstars you just look at, you just feel like they're, they're destined for big things. And you gotta feel that way when you see a guy like Tyler Bate. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle. One on one, oh. mano a mano. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. Vicious strike. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. What's up, running bulldog? you might just point on volatility and the volatility of this match but what i think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this no oh, boo hoo cry me a river saxton these competitors knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they chose this profession wow dean ambrose is being controlled now oh man dean ambrose is really feeling the pressure wow dean ambrose is being controlled now you had to think at some point this would happen. At some point, Ambrose would weaken. If there's a maneuver that can put your lights out in a hurry, it's Dirty Deeds. The double arm DDT from the Lunatic Fringe is awesome. Oh man, Dean Ambrose is really feeling the pressure. Dean Ambrose is in trouble here, but you still have to be careful. And Ambrose is rolling now, Michael. Wow, Dean Ambrose is being controlled now. There may be no coming back from that slip. Dean Ambrose did it. One of the things that's helped Dean Ambrose become so feared is dirty deeds. The move is tough to defend against, and an opponent has no idea when it's going to strike, just like the lunatic fringe himself.
Dean Ambrose has taken the DDT and made it more devastating than ever. When the Lunatic Fringe drops his opponent with dirty deeds, you can bet you'll be looking up at the lights. Here is your winner, Dean Ambrose. A very decisive victory here tonight. Without a doubt, he is among the most dominant guys on the WWE roster right now. Yeah, you can bet they're going to be talking about this match for quite some time. Another great matchup is now on tap. Six-man tag team action on tap next. Making his way to the ring at a combined weight of 290 pounds, Saban and Spivey. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell yeah. you that this three-on-three -three match promises to be electric. Without a doubt, Michael, and given the participants here, I'm willing to bet the action will be nonstop. And his opponents 
first, from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 208 pounds, the Zone Television Champion, Champion Rusekis. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. As we get ready to go here, Byron, I understand you've done a little research as it relates to these two teams. Believe it or not, Michael, there are rumors circulating in the locker room that both these teams have issues when it comes to being on the same page. So it'll be interesting to see if that comes to fruition at some point here tonight. And I know the title's not on the line, but the champ better bring his A game here tonight. You can bet he did, Michael. You don't get to the spot he's in without bringing your best each and every time, regardless of whether the title's on the line. when it means manipulating the human anatomy. A technical wizard from Philadelphia. Drew Gulak is a force to be reckoned with in the cruiserweight division. A true broad street bully. These two superstars are set to lock up for their respective teams as this six-man tag is on the right. Six superstars, two teams, let's face facts. We can see anything happen here. Guys, I have a feeling this is the type of match we'll go back and look at three or four times over the course of next week. And he's a proud guy. That title will not be on the line here, but that doesn't mean he doesn't want to win this match. Boom! 
2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. talked about six-man tag matches and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match, but it showed what can happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned WWE match. I'll tell you what, none of the men who fought in that conflict will ever be the same. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. Oh boy, he is well, man. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He might have it. Corey, early you talked about... Oh, what a DDT! Wow. He's really looking to prove a point here. A Gulak. Forward right to the jaw. Stunned him. You gotta believe this one's over. That's what you call a bad landing. What a stomp. Good grief. Refuses to 
Yeah. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. Beautiful technique. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. He's playing with him now. Oh, goodness! Jam your leg in a bad way. Look at this! Going for it all here. Down, Samoan driver. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match. Can he score the pin? What impact. Game, set, match. Cover, cover. is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. He's making a statement here with this attack. Inflicting so much damage to the body. DDT! Here he goes. A oh, breakneck speed, well of her Corona. But he's running on Penny predicament. And he got a near fall out of it. He is not gonna go down without a fight, Michael. Nailed it. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. He might have it. Whoa! Oh, man, what a leg drop. Here's it. He's got him covered. What a six-man tag match. These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. Here are your winners, Saban and Spivey. That's a big win, although there was a moment there where I thought it was going to go the other way. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that was an amazing contest. It'll be tough for the next match, but we shall see. Singles action coming your way.
The knockout artist. Cassius Ono's here. Making his way to the ring from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 260 pounds, Cassius Ono. Cash Ono, a true student of the game, constantly improving, traveling the world to better his craft. Cassius is a dangerous man. One of the best strikers in the game can also brutalize you with incredible technique. Cash Ono is a tough, tough human being. He is so excited to be here tonight. And his opponent, from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 174 pounds, the professional, Loki. As we ready for singles action, Byron, what can you tell us about these two competitors? Well, I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance here tonight. But as we all know, only one will walk away with their arm raised in victory. The WWE Universe is chopping to the bit to see these two competitors go at it. You can count me in on the excitement. I can't wait. Cassius Ono is a true knockout artist, and I think he's fitting to create another masterpiece here tonight. Yeah, you're not kidding, Saxon. I've taken a few of those elbows from Cassius, and believe me, they are tough to get up from. Really working over the body. You gotta believe this one's over. He's going for it all. Diving double axe handle. He's starting to feel it here. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not oh, careful. Man. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. Oh, I think we know what this is. This might not have been a wise move for him. He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. This is dangerous right here. Senton connects. Oh, one height. He's stumbling some now. You can bet this is not how he drew this one up. This match is trending oh. in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants to stay in it. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. Ooh. Beautiful technique. Oh, man, what a splash. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. This might be it! Oh, my. more punishment needs to be dished out. Just finish it. There's a good chance he can't recover from this. I can't really tell what his game plan was heading into this match, but whatever it was, 
it definitely hasn't been working. Irish whip. Goes down hard. Here it comes. He's got him. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. He's lining him up. Oh, no. <laughs> Buenas noches. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. He's got the shoulders down. Two. Real close. Too close for Copper. This is amazing. Matches like this, I say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. As Byron mentioned, innovation certainly is a key in a match like this. A competitor can't be adverse to taking action outside the ring. By no means is this your traditional contest. No, it's not, Cole, but at the same time, you still win this match the old-fashioned way by pinfall or submission. There it is. Did you hear that crack? There it is. Did you hear that crack? When this guy's on, Look out. Oh, no. Rolling elbow from Cassius. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. There's a pin now. Two, three. Cassius Ono with the victory. Congratulations, Cassius. Extreme Rules is not for the faint of heart, as you can see in these highlights. Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Here is your winner, Cassius Ono. An amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive pinfall victory. And talk about displaying a never-say-die attitude. It was as if winning was the only option here tonight. As usual, this Philadelphia crowd is beyond boisterous tonight. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Another great matchup is now on tap. Singles action coming your way.
making his way to the ring from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at There is at an absolutely big fight feel in the pounds. arena tonight for this the one. World yeah, and judging from the vibe here champion. currently, it seems to me Bam. like this is the one this sold out crowd came to see. Opponent from Sandy, Utah, weighing in at 220 pounds, the hardcore icon. Singles action on its way, and it sounds like this arena is more than ready to kick this one off. So is social media, Michael. The opening bell hasn't even rung, and yet both these superstars are already trending. No more talking behind each other's backs. Now they are face to face. And pretty soon, fist to fist. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. What a stomp! Good grief! To the back of the neck, Scottish Sickle. He's starting to stumble here. 
I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Looking for the win. No, there's the reversal. Oh, he's such a tough target. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Point of the elbow, nailed it. He's taking some offense. He came into this. This can't be legal. Totally ruthless, but effective. You have to like his chances here. Just as devastating the second time around. Harsh impact. I'm not sure how much he has left. Did you guys feel that too? Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Two, three, three. What a way to win a singles match. Well, they don't call it Extreme Rules for nothing, guys. Let's take another look. That match wasn't very memorable, but the superstar showed a couple of glimpses of doing some good things. Here is your winner, Bram. Nicely done, picking up the win here. When you get a one-on-one -on -one match like that, you hate to see one of them come up short, but that's just the harsh reality of it. As usual, this Philadelphia crowd is beyond boisterous tonight. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Kaisers are over. Time for the main course. Singles match coming up next.
making her way to the ring from England, the Women's United States Champion, the Queen. Get ready, Big guys. Big time Hill singles matches coming Champion. up here. And I can assure you, these two superstars have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. From Pennsylvania, B. Tonga Kong. Now we're talking. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one on one action. And Michael, it sounds to me like this crowd already picked the one who they want to win this match. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. When I looked at the card for tonight, this one definitely stood out as one you don't want to miss. She wants to do this in the ring. She may be in a bad way here. Looks like her chances of winning this match are starting to dwindle. She's no pushover though, guys. If she's going down, she's gonna go down swinging. She might have it. Big slam. Nice. Shut it down. Did you guys feel the shoulders are down? And a kick out. She's still in this one. Is off there. Inches. She missed by at least a foot, Cole. Enough already. Ooh. We've got a cover. An easy kick out there. Not even close. Take advantage here. Shoulders on the mat. One, two, three. Yes! Takes it! Extreme Rules is not for the faint of heart, as you can see in these highlights. Well, that match wasn't much to look at, but at least they gave a little bit of effort. Kind of like some women I've dated. Well, that match certainly won't be on any best of the year reels, that's for sure. Here is your winner, the Queen, Big Hill. That was a big pinfall victory right there.
And to be honest, Michael, neither of these amazing women have anything to be ashamed of. That main event may have raised more questions than provide answers. We'll find out next time. See you soon, everybody. What's this? Well, I think it's about to be a highlight reel. This is it. Ooh, what impact. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Looks like the second time's gonna be the charm here.